Okay, it's Case Man with some 125 here. I'm um, just a tutorial on how to make custom 164 with green augers. Um, like I showed you, I fixed that. If you guys just talk low, I'll be making a uh, size about this the size. So, first thing you, okay, things you will need are hot glue gun, you need scissors. You're gonna need like a race car, kinda, well, not a race car. You just need tires that look like this. I'll, I'll get this one out for just a sec. Whatever the heck these things are called, I have no idea. I think they have little pokey things at the ends. I think they use like shish bobs or whatever. And you will need bendy straws. Two of them if you wanna make the size of this. If you wanna make a huge one, you're gonna want three or four. So, first thing you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna. I already used the back for that one, for that other one, and it's just like this. They have to be like these, or otherwise, I'm pretty sure it won't work. It's like you see that? If you can see that right there, it just kind of falls down. And same with the little needle thing, whatever. So you're gonna want that. You set that aside. If you want a big one and you want tandems, you're gonna have to cut two. Like for now, for me, I'm only making a single axle for the tutorial, so this is basically junk, so anyway, I'll keep that for something else, I don't know. Okay, let's see here. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to measure from the base, and you're going to want to put a straw inside it. So about, this might be a little longer video, sorry about that. There. You want to put it inside it and cut it so it's able to do this, like completely fold apart and not. And you're going to want to put that over the inside, inside your axle, so it looks something like this. So now you can't do nothing with that. Okay, and then one more thing, you want to cut it one more time and do the exact same thing. There, looks like that. And just put it over one more time again. There. Now we'll set that away, I'm pretty sure. Yes, okay. Now, depending on the angle you want of your straw, for me, I will want it like that. And then I want to cut it at an angle because that's just how I want it. This all depends on how much you want to custom something. And for this, I'm actually going to try to make it without the little bendy thing on top because I actually ran out of these. This little grate, that's actually in like an old stair, or like a radio. It's from like the speakers, the casing, the protecting. So I don't know if any of you guys are watching this that have those anymore. So if you don't, you can't, unless you have some other type of grate. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to bend the one that's going inside. So it's bend it up like that, and you're going to want to be able to put this one inside it. Now, if you want, okay, oh, never mind, okay. Now, see, this would be your main length. So that, if you want to make a bent on the end, that you bend this. So that would be your the pivot thing. But since I'm not going to do that, I'm going to keep it straight. So I'm going to snip it off right below the bendy part there. Now this, if you want to make it so a PTO, you're going to want to keep this. If you don't, you can get rid of it. So, there. Whatever. Okay, there. You'll paint this. So whatever color you want to paint it, that's up to you. So, now comes your Leatherman. But that, this thingy, piece of stick, whatever, you're going to want to cut the pointy off. Throw that away. You want to figure out how steep of an angle you want it. I'm going to make it almost exactly like this one so I can get two of them. So, I have something to go by, otherwise you just go on wherever you feel like you want to make it. There, there's one. And, dang it, so, I'm just going to suck it up and I'm going to cut it so that it's both the same. I don't have to do it anymore. Okay, now that's for the back. Now when you came back to your wheels, yeah, that you have your hot glue gun, okay. Now this is the kind of tricky part. 
See if you can see. I don't know if you can see it. But where it like peels apart, you're not going to want to glue on that. That's the part that when you take it off, it goes like this. It pulls off. And then you still have one, and that's the casing. So it goes in like that. There. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some hot. God dang it. What I do? Are you sorry about that, you guys? So, that's actually not very good. So, bear with me, guys. I just first time I ever did a tutorial like this. And I am very lazy when it comes to editing. I hate editing. Okay, make sure it does not glue down to your workspace you're working on. That will not be good. And then you will not want to do it to this one too. There. You want to angle it up. Like make like a... It starts out and then it goes to a point. Up at the point is where you're going to have your auger connect to. So what I do is I put a little bead of glue right in there. And I just move my finger over it. So, there. Wow, dang it. Yeah, just like that. There. If you don't like the glue on the bottom, you can use super glue or whatnot. This is just for um, tutorial. I'll probably go over it later and redo this. But, okay, now for this part right there. So, what are you going to want to do there? It's all depending on the angle you want it. So, mine's going to be setting like this. I don't want this one to go off of. And right there. So, I'm going to want to snip the pointy off. Unless if you want the pointy, yeah, I don't really care. So, right about there. About the same length, a little less, sorry. There. Now you're gonna wanna do the same to your other. Just like that, right there. There, okay. Now what you're gonna do on this side is being sure you're not gonna cover up this little splice. You wanna go right next to it. I'll glue this too. Right there. Right there. Something like that. Right there. Then I'll, want, I'll let this one dry. I think. Use a stay. Get the same. Okay. And right there. And you need to angle it up again. Because that's where your the other part of the auger or the straw is going to go. Still wet. So I noticed that that is very weak, actually, very, very weak. So I'm just gonna do that. So, there. Now, coming back to this, like I said before, you're going to paint this. So it doesn't matter what color you're gonna have it, just as long as you get that in, because it works way better. Okay, now, that's hot. <laughs> Now, if, like, see right now, I put that too much, not enough angle. So what you're going to do is that, that'll work way better when you get to gluing this to the pieces of, uh, whatever the heck I just said. Brain fart. Okay, so what I'm going to do is right there, I'm going to glue the end like that. That bag guy dry. Make 
you do this with hot um super glue, you'll get the the white look. And I don't like that because I've super glued stuff before. And it gets that white coating around it. I don't like that at all. And right there, <laughs> believe it or not, that's basically your auger Anita. Okay, now you see I screwed it, well, okay, one thing that you're going to want to do too, is for that, you see that's not centered, so you're going to want to center that, but right now I'm going to add my PTO, and actually this part, you're going to want to cut, and you're going to want to cut the pointy off, but you're going to want to keep the point, the pointy part or whatnot. And this so oh, is this is your PTO. So I need a tractor actually, so I'll be right back. Okay. See right here's the PTO inlet, whatever. You're gonna wanna hot glue the back that's not empty on this. And you're going to put that on your side. Now that's up to you what side you want it on. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna Put it up to your tractor where your PTO is. When you do that, you get that. You have to hold it for a little while because it is hot glue. So, and when it's hardened, if you do that, if it's not centered, the PTO is holding on that ridge. Like I'll go out later, and like, or I could do right now is I could put some hot glue in here, in the end. To give it more weight, because this is kind of what it does. It just never ends. There. See, it's still like that, but right there. See, like, you, can you see that? Oops, I'll move the camera so you can see it. Right there. See, you can see it. It's just I'm like not even touching it. Like, just need a. Give it a little bit. Whatever. You saw it, whatever. Okay. But no, what I'll do is I'll... Actually. Okay. Um, no, screw it. I'm not going to do this with this little... Um, uh, what's it, what the heck it's called? Whatever. My stock chopper, so you're going to want to get, like, a hitch from something. And glue it on it so you can pull it around. And now this, what I what I'll do is I'll make like a little funnel system for that to go on. And right there, it's hanging on, and you got something to pull it around on. See, unlike this this one, you don't have anything, so you have to use it with your skid little bucket. This one, I did. I put that. Okay. I'll show you that that can come off. See? Comes off right there. And how long is this? 13 minutes? Okay. And sec. Now, this is always a hard part. Well, it's not really hard. It's just hard for me because I have really shaky hands right now. So I'm excited because I'm going to a rodeo actually, actually in a couple minutes. Well, soon, not in a couple minutes. But there you go. Now what you do is if you want to do bland like my first one was, paint the entire thing one color. If you're doing it like this and you don't want to put hot glue in the end, you can really detail it out and custom it and put an auger inside it. If you just want to cut it or detail it like black I did on this and red on that. The red is, um, what's it called? It's like this, I had it in my mind, I forgot what kind of paint it was but it took it was really sticky it took like three days to dry but the black was oh acrylic acrylic paint that's what I used this is just spray paint and I don't know what color I paint that I have no idea that'll probably stay bland for a little while but now since you put that hitch on there your PTO will line up probably with your three-point arm but if you wanted to make it swivel 
Your PTO, what are you gonna to wanna to do? I'm gonna have to do this quickly because I wanted to. Right there. I don't wanna spread it apart. So it's like that. I'm gonna break your PTO off. And you're going to want a hot glue inside that and skip your deal in there. Just like that. And you're going to squeeze down. Now this will get hot. There. Okay, there. And then you're going to want to put it in the other end. Not put it too much in the, um, in the crimp side, like where it can bend. You want to be able to squeeze that out. And just hold it there. So, this will be one of the last things I do on this grain auger, so, thank you to Mr. Farm Kid for, he, um, requested, uh, how to make it, so, if any of you guys have any other questions on how to make, I don't know, like, something that I have, like a manure pump or silage bags or, I don't care, <laughs> anything, if you want to have a video on how I custom my disc, 637 disc, go right ahead. And then, and just hot glue it right under this. There you go. Wait for that to dry. And I'll... Okay. That's still wet, but what what it'll do is it'll be able to fold out, down, and back. If you don't want that, just don't. Do what I have right here. Do that. But one thing before I end this, if you're going to use paint, like not acrylic or spray paint, use spray paint if you want to cover your straws underneath because otherwise it'll peel off and look ugly, kind of like that. But see what I did here is this is spray paint, and I got inked very good under there or right there, but it doesn't peel off. So thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions about anything, request videos. I don't care. It's I like doing it. Actually, this is actually pretty fun. So thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.